Franny Stewart. I'm the illustrator of Trouble in the Surf, written by Stephanie Owen Reader. Uh, this book is a true story set in 1907 about some of the events that helped to found uh, the world's oldest surf life saving club, um, the Bondi Surf Life Saving Club. To create this book, I used a combination of pencil drawing and gouache painting. For the pencil drawing, um, my aim was to capture the details, life on the beach, um, the clothing and um, worn in 1907. And I used a lot of photographs that were given to me by the National Library of Australia and by Stephanie. But to really capture the sights and the sounds, the colour and the movement of the time, I actually also thought a lot about the paintings that were done in that time, where the artists were a lot more focused on creating the uh, impression of movement and light and, um, and of course, colour. With the gouache painting that I did, I decided to try and capture that style in this book as, as a little nod to that era in Australian history. I think that this book is a really great uh, little um, launch pad for exploring the early 1900s in Australia. Um, the things that are in the book and the things that aren't in the book. Um, and I certainly had so much fun uh, doing the research that was required to complete the really detailed illustration. Hi, I'm Karen Blair. I'm the illustrator of When Billy Was a Dog, written by Kirsty Murray, published by Allen and Unwin. When I read this story, I could really relate to it because just like the main character, Billy, I love dogs. And at the time of illustrating, and I didn't have a dog. The other reason I could relate to it is because I have a daughter called Alice. And in this story, Billy loves dogs, wishes he had a dog, but isn't allowed to get one until he's older. And so he starts behaving like a dog and at the time my daughter Alice was behaving like a cat a lot so I thought this was a really lovely playful exploration of how children express themselves. The inspiration for the character that I drew of Billy came from a little boy who was at the school where I teach and he had this wonderful wild scruffy red hair and he just happened to look like the son of Kirsty Murray, whose name is Billy. So that was a nice coincidence. I also had a lot of fun drawing dogs for this book and I did a bit of a nationwide search for the perfect uh, character for Fluff, who's Billy's neighbour's dog. And people from all over the country sent me photos of their dogs and I did portraits of them and turned them into the end papers for the book. I illustrated this book using charcoal for the line and gouache for the colour and it was a really nice loose colourful playful way to express the movement and the, um, the doggy nature of uh, the story and the good news is that after I illustrated this book I decided to get a little dog of my very own just like Billy.